Hi, this is Jim Brockton from Atlanta, Georgia. In this video tutorial, I'll show you how to insert a chart into a crystal report. This tutorial is for the Report of Palooza campaign and it's challenge number three of five. Alright, so to get started, let's go ahead and launch crystal, crystal Reports. Now to save time, I've already created a crystal report, inserted two tables, and added two fields onto the report. These are the two fields that I'd like to create a chart for. Alright, so to insert a chart into your report, click Insert, scroll down, and select chart. As you see there's uh, an orange border to represent the chart and you pick the location on the report that you like to place it. Now you can insert a chart into four sections report header, report footer, group header, or group footer. You can insert a chart on page header and you also cannot insert a chart onto the page footer or in the details section. So let's go ahead and place our chart in the report header. Now by inserting this chart onto the report header, it goes ahead and creates the chart because I have a, a group that I'd already created and a summarized item for the amount sold category. So let's see all the things that we can do to a chart. Let's start by maximizing the size of this chart, just stretching it across the, size of the, the side of the screen there. Okay. So you can be begin by right clicking on the chart and let's select chart expert. This gives you several opportunities for enhancing the chart, modifying its look and feel. There are a total of 16 different chart types in Crystal Reports for 40 different types of charts. You can go through this list clicking different chart types. You'll see the charts available. You also see at the bottom the use depth effect. Select that and you see a small illustration of how that chart would appear when depth is added to it. So let's just go back to bar and you see we if you uncheck use depth effect now it goes back to without depth. Let's go ahead and add depth to our chart. You can also go from horizontal to go from vertical to horizontal. Let's use vertical. Alright, just click OK and now we have more of a three-dimensional looking chart. Okay, so let's take a look at the other things that we can do to modify our chart here right click on chart expert right click on the, the chart select chart expert let's take a look at the data section now there's two primary types of chart layouts there's the group chart and advanced group will only exist if you have already created a grouping or a group item within your crystal report and you have a summarized field I actually have both and that's why it created the chart and added those two fields to to the chart by default but you can click advanced and now you can create your chart manually by selecting fields and adding them to the appropriate section if you were to add a measure to the show value section select that value now you can select set summary operation in this area you can change the calculation to from sum to average sample variance maximum minimum count several other possibilities you can use there. So Let's just cancel out of here and explore the other areas inside of the chart. Another thing you can look at is the format chart. Select that and this will allow you to add a border, add, add a border to one side, add a border to the top, to the bottom. You can add a drop shadow to the report and you can also include a background color or you can write a formula for a color. Anytime you see this this logo here in Crystal Reports, it allows you to create a formula. So let's just cancel out of that. We're also going to explore two other areas. Format background. This allows you to change the background of the chart and also modify the border thickness. And finally I'd like to show you chart options. Now chart options are very interesting because it allows you to, cha to change the gap width. You see how our illustration changes. And also change the depth. Well, as you get into creating charts with Crystal Reports, you'll find there's a, it's a lot of fun to play with all these features. So try them all out. Thank you for watching and please continue to follow Report of Palooza. Thank you very much.